This was not what I was expecting to see when I walked into your old room. You were a total nerd, weren't you? <laughs> wow, you have a few shelves full of figurines. Some academic achievements over here. <laughs> Dang, check out those Star Wars posters. At least it was nice of your mom to keep the room like this for you. Yeah, my old room was immediately converted into a craft room. And now I have to sleep next to a bunch of half-finished sewing projects. Yeah, I mean, of course I knew you were kind of nerdy. It's something I like about you for sure, but... I'd be surprised to find out if you got any action in high school. <laughs> You know, I'm just teasing you. I like that you're a nerd. In fact, I find it quite attractive. It's a quality I really admire about you. I find your intelligence and enthusiasm towards certain topics very, very sexy. Especially when that topic is me. <laughs> what? I know. I'll be good. I'm sorry. I know we're just here visiting your family for your sister's wedding. I can pull it back a little bit. I'll try my best. For now. Yeah, I like your family a lot. They seem really nice. Although, I did notice during the rehearsal dinner, um... Your mom and your sister were kind of giving me a side eye. I don't know, maybe we just look really different together. Mm. Have you seen me? I'm covered in tattoos, piercings. And then there you are, this preppy, nerdy guy right next to me. It's kind of an obvious case of opposites attract. All I know is that it's something we both like about us. And others may not understand. Although I do hope she likes me. I'm trying to make a really good impression. Even using my best manners and being very considerate. Do you think she likes me? Yeah, I think if we give her some time, she'll warm up to the idea. It's kind of funny because, honestly, they should have been giving you the side eye. Why? Well, because they don't really know that side of you that I get to see. Mm -hmm. You know that side that likes when I take control of things? Hmm. I know you don't always like to have a say in what we do, so I take over. You like when I have the plan set in place for us. Maybe enforce a few rules here and there, along with any punishments if they aren't followed. <laughs> I know I said I'd be good. <sighs> Well, so it looks like we're sleeping in your old room tonight. Thankfully, you have a queen-size bed. Oh, and I love those flannel sheets. <laughs> we're gonna be all sweaty in them, aren't we? Here, you slide in first. It's okay if we cuddle, isn't it? Then come closer to me, Sally. Yeah, this is perfect. They don't know that you like to be my little spoon, do they? I like being able to wrap my arms around you, keeping you all warm and cozy. I know you do too. Oh, you are? Why is that? 
You're nervous about tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you have your big speech. I think you've practiced it enough times. You sounded really good when I heard you. What's there to worry about? No, oh, you're afraid you'll mess up. That's so sweet of you. You're such a good brother. There's no way you're going to mess up. Just make sure to take a few deep breaths and speak from your heart. You got this. Here, let me help you relax some. I can pet your hair a little and rub your back. That always seems to relax you. You'll fall asleep soon. Mm-hmm. Does that feel good? Yeah. Just feel me against your back, holding you close. And soon you'll get nice and sleepy. You're already feeling better, aren't you? Yeah. Can feel your whole body start to relax. It's a good boy. Yeah, you're my good boy, aren't you? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You're supposed to be falling asleep. Not getting excited. <laughs> it's counterproductive to what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> we have plenty of time for that when we get back home. Don't worry. Besides, I don't want us to make too much noise knowing your parents are in the room right next to us. <laughs> That's right. I have to be in my best behavior. It's so funny to me. They don't even know all the things that I do to you. The things that drive you wild. I don't think they would look at you the same way if they found out. The sweet, nerdy guy who's actually into all sorts of devious activities with his sexy goth girlfriend. <laughs> but it's fun keeping those type of secrets, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just focus back on falling asleep, okay? And try not to focus on what we could be doing instead. Trust me, I'm trying to as well. Good night, my sweet, nerdy boyfriend. Mm-hmm.